Can you talk a little more about the technology aspect and you know being a, a company that is into the technology arena? So can you talk a little about you know maybe development or something on the IT front or the technology enabled knowledge management that you have? Right. So uh, so bulk of uh, many projects inside Talkworks uh, uh, use uh, what's called Mingle, which is uh, which is an ALM suite. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, this is part of a larger ALM suite, but it you know, really enables distributed teams to stay and in touch ALM with would be Application Lifecycle Manager. Application Lifecycle. Okay. Right, so that helps distributed teams uh, stay on the same page with respect to a project. Now, that, having said that, on the KM front, on the pure knowledge management mm -hmm. front, we are pretty much low tech. Uh, but we do have these thriving communities on mailing lists. So one of the most active uh, communities inside ThoughtWorks is the software development community, which has a very active mailing list. And you can be rest assured, anyone in ThoughtWorks posts a question to that software development list, you can be pretty sure that you'll get really high quality answers from different people around the world. And this is something which is totally internal or external? Right, so the mailing list itself is completely internal. Okay. Right? But we do have blogs.thoughtworks.com where uh, hundreds of software workers blog. Uh, and, and these are their personal blogs, personal personal, uh, personal blogs okay. that we aggregate on the corporate website. Uh, the good thing about that is that uh, we don't think knowledge management is something that's constrained by the boundaries of the organization. Because if you, if you look at knowledge itself, it's, it's pretty much you know it pretty much cuts across the, the traditional boundaries mm -hmm. of the enterprise. It really, you know, there's so much we learn from open source communities. There's so much we learn from practitioners working in other organizations and so on. So. Uh, that's the reason for us knowledge management is ne not necessarily constrained with the organizational uh, boundary. You know, it really cuts across and that, that shows in, in the contributions we make to the open source world, the stuff that we learn from the open source world, blogs.thoughtworks.com is a great okay. example. The stuff that ThoughtWorkers do on Twitter, mm -hmm. most ThoughtWorks related tweets are hashtag using hash ThoughtWorks. Okay. You might want to do a search for that and see the kind of activity we have on Twitter. So we are really embracing the web, uh, you know, as uh, as a way of collaborating as well. It's it's not necessarily completely closed systems that we're talking about. Okay, and you were mentioning something about uh, open sourcing and something that we learn from the open source community. So is this something that happens on an individual level, where you know, like for example, if I am a developer and I am contributing something to the open source community, right? So, but how does it really happen in an organization level? Because you are saying it. Right, so ThoughtWorks okay. uh, as an organization is, uh, you know, uh, does support open source in multiple ways. There are, uh, you might want to go to opensource.thoughtworks.com to, you know, to see okay, some of the open source. Okay, that is opensource.thoughtworks.com. Right. Okay. So that has a list of the open source projects that, that ThoughtWorks has initiated. Um, uh, there are also other open source projects to which ThoughtWorks actively contribute. Okay. Uh, the good thing is that uh, the kind of behavior that thought workers, uh, you know, uh, show these open source communities also reflects back inside the organization. Okay. So peer recognition, for example, which is at the heart of open source communities, is also at the heart of how ThoughtWorks, you know, looks at reputation and recognition. Interesting.